join us for a video analysis of FI and DII in the Indian stock market. Today, January 30th, Monday, we examine the impact of buying and selling activity by foreign and domestic institutional investors on the market. Stay with us as we delve into the data and gain valuable insights. Let's start with the cash market. Back-to-back -back big net selling days by the FIs. Will the last day of the month also witness significant selling? If it does, the markets could further decline on Tuesday, a day before the annual budget is announced. FI's net sold shares worth 6,792.8 Indian rupees crore and DI's net bought shares worth 5,512.63 Indian rupees crore on January 30th, 2023, as per provisional data available on NSE. Now to the derivatives market. Retailers have increased their long positions in index futures, which is generally a bullish sign. However, they also reduced their long positions in index call options and covered some of their short positions in index put options, which suggests a bearish outlook. When taken together, the net positioning seems to be bearish. FIs, on the other hand, have added to their short positions in index futures and established long positions in index put options, again signaling a bearish outlook. But they have also significantly increased their long positions in index call options making their overall net positioning neutral. Finally, the pros have increased their short positions in index futures and index call options and closed their long positions, establishing significant short positions in index put options. This combination of actions suggests a slightly bullish outlook, according to the net numbers. Overall, the market seems to be in a state of flux as the investor's sentiment is divided. It will be interesting to see how the market develops in the coming days and what impact these changes in the positions of different players will have on the overall trend.